In celebration of Black History Month, we'll be talking to four public figures in a series of interviews throughout October, starting with former Bluebirds defender Gary Bennett, who played for the club between 1981 and 1984. So, to kick things off, we asked Gary to start at the very beginning and tell us how he became involved in football. Well, I was born in Manchester, um, which is obviously a huge, huge city for football. Um, Manchester City supporter. Um, and I followed in my brother's footsteps, Dave Bennett, who also um, played for Cardiff for a couple of years. Um, also was at, at Manchester City. Um, I was at Manchester City as well for two and a half years. I was lucky because where Manchester City is based at the time, it was based in the heart of um, Moss Eyed, which is a very, very diverse um, sit, um, place. Um, and at the football club at that time, we had another four or five black players who was actually um, making that um, pathway. Gary's older brother, Dave Bennett, played alongside him for the Bluebirds. So we asked about their relationship and how important a role his brother played in his career. Being a, a younger brother, you're always competing. You always want to follow in his footsteps. And he made that step into, obviously, at Manchester City. Um, made that um, pathway um, playing for the first team. Unfortunately, I didn't play for the first team um, for Manchester City. So, you know, it creates, shall we say, competition, but good competition as well. We had about another four or five black players at the time, which is, again, at that time was a rarity. Um, never mind having one, but having four or five uh, black players at the football club. We had a goalkeeper called Alex Williams, who was near enough, shall we say at the time, the first black goalkeeper. Um, we had Clive Wilson, Roger Palmer, myself, my brother. So to have that many black players at one football club was um, astonishing, rarity, but it puts us in the right pathway to push on and open one or two doors. You know, when you go somewhere, having something similar to other people. So again, you know, we're talking about colour of skin, um, especially when you've got another three or four players there of the same colour as you, you're sort of attracted to them. You've got something in common. You know, when we talk about maybe re um, racism, you know, we talk about um, skin colour, we talk about religion, talk about nationality and culture. And if you've got something like that, um, similar to somebody who's at the football club, then you're sort of drawn to that person. You know, if you've got somebody who's from Wales, from Cardiff, automatically you're drawn to that person because you've got something, you've got a connection. Um, so, yes, having other players there off, off the same skin colour as myself helped us obviously progress. You know, I'm very, very thankful for um, Cardiff City and the city of Cardiff as well for give us, giving me that opportunity to represent the football club. And again, it was a special time for myself and also for my brother because I signed for Cardiff first and then a few weeks later on, my brother followed us. So all of a sudden you've got two brothers um, who actually went on to represent Cardiff. And at that time, again, when you talk about shall we say, colour of skin, um, in regards of supporters coming to Cardiff City. There weren't many black supporters actually coming to the football club. So actually for them to see a black player or two black players um, representing the club, all of a sudden opened one or two doors. There was a lot more black supporters coming to the club, but also for us as well, um, it was unique at the time because we went on. I was playing as a central defender. My brother was playing for a forward and especially my brother is quite exciting to watch at the time and it helped when we got promotion. As time went on, um, we realised um, the influence and the role which we played in regards of obviously um, Cardiff City and the supporters and raising the awareness um, in regards of black players because at the time, you know, especially 81 to 84 when I was at Cardiff, again throughout the game there weren't that many black players. Um, you know, to have a black player in your team in them times was a rarity. To have two black players um, representing your, your club was something special. But again, it helped um, me and my brother, obviously being brothers, um, to help each other through, um, at times, some difficult times, um, not just on the pitch, but off the pitch as well. You know, when you're obviously on that pathway um, to become a footballer, you just want to try to get as high as you can. Um, to make that breakthrough and as parents, my parents, to see the two sons playing on the same pitch, on the same side, 
was a huge, huge honor for him. Um, and also being successful. Uh, you know, we had some excellent times um, at Cardiff. Um, we made some very, very good friends. Um, and you've got to say that was the foundation for us to go on and have a good career. Gary then continued to look back at his time at Cardiff City and went on to talk highly of the late former Cardiff City manager, Len Ashurst. Len was a character. He was obviously a very, very hard man, um, very, very good player. Um, you know, um, he had a, played a lot of games, obviously, for Sunderland at the time. Um, obviously, his beliefs, um, what he believed in and rubbed off on myself. And I learned a lot from, obviously, um, Len Ashurst. Um, he was played a huge, huge part in my life and in my career um, because at the time, Len Ashurst, because, because they'd done very well, got that, shall we say, call to go and manage at the top. He went to man manage at Sunderland and he, shall we say, made a huge, huge step in regards of signing me for Sunderland. And at that time, Sunderland have only had one black player who actually represented Sunderland. Um, so, you know, for for Len to bring me to the North East, to bring me to Sunderland Football Club was a huge gamble. Um, he also had one or two meetings with supporters branches um, in regards of how would they feel if a black player actually came to Sunderland Football Club. You know, it raises a few eyebrows, but you've got to remember that Sunderland near enough, well, never really had a black player who played in, in their colours. So for, for me to come to the North East, and when we talk about um, cultures, when we talk about diversity, um, it was a rarity, especially in the North East, to see somebody of my um, skin colour. I went on, as I said, you just mentioned there, Player of the Year. Ended up captain the team for five years. Played in a, a FA Cup final, played in a League Cup final, played in a playoff final, got promotion, got relegation. So, yeah, I had a testimonial there against Glasgow Rangers. So. You know, when I look back on um, my career, um, you know, that's why I've got a lot to thank Len Ashurst for. Whilst looking back on his success, we asked Gary what his fondest memories were as a player. I've got so many. Uh, I've just mentioned, you know, cup finals, um, obviously playing um, for sort of playing at the top level. But also I've, I've got to thank Cardiff City as well. Um, without Cardiff City um, to lay the foundations, I wouldn't be where I was or where I am now. Um, you know, I've had some great times at Cardiff, um, fantastic people, fantastic players. And, we, you know, we had a very, very good team at the time. So, yeah, you know, when you talk about pinnacles, turning points, you know, turning point was maybe when Leicester Ashes took over Cardiff City. That If that didn't happen, I wouldn't have been at Sunderland. You know, so, you know, you, you look at uh, moments in the game, moments in my career, um, you know, playing at Wembley was a highlight. Playing at top level football is a highlight as well. You know, we just mentioned about my brother playing on the same team. You know, I played against my brother. He played for Coventry. I played against Sunderland. So, you know, when we talk about parents having mixed feelings and being obviously feeling very proud of the sons, of obviously it was split down the middle when you're playing against your brother, which team to support. So, yeah, you know, there's, there's fantastic times which I've had as, again, um, testimonial against Glasgow Rangers. Um, so, yeah, I can reflect back on maybe half a dozen things which have, have, have been a highlight in my career. I keep talking about um, how thankful I am. Um, you know, I've been, I keep saying I'm lucky that I'm in a position um, to obviously get that message across to be a role model. Um, you know, I, I was given that opportunity through um, Cardiff City. Um, you know, when I was at Manchester City, um, I got released at a young age. I could easily have thrown everything away, but I had people who had that belief in me, the likes of Tony Buck, who was the ex-Manchester City um, coach, Malcolm Allison, Len Ashurst, Richie Morgan, who was also a manager at Cardiff City, and the supporters of Cardiff City. Without that foundation, I wouldn't have got to where I am now. Continuing to use his platform as a sports personality, Gary went on to support the Show Racism the Red Car campaign and was inducted into their Hall of Fame in 2004. He went on to tell us how that came about. Show Racism the Red Car um, is obviously is based in the North East. That's where it's all set up. Um, and me being a black player at Sunderland at the time, the only black sort of black player, um, there was 
Curtis Fleming, who was at um, Middlesbrough at the time. Um, Liv Anderson got involved. Um, the chief executive was a Newcastle United supporter, believe it or not. <laughs> and he was quite annoyed when we played Newcastle, the amount of abuse I received. Um, he, he got into contact with me and said, would I help in any way? Um, Shaka Hislop is the president of Shore Race and Red Card. And I said yes. Um, and I've been involved um, in Shore Race and Red Card now for 25 years. It's something which I'm very passionate about. Um, it's something which not just affects me. It's not just about football, it's about society. Um, I've been able to educate myself in regards or around racism. Um, you know, and again, I think education is key. Um, we, we, we learn a lot. Um, you know, we can all suffer from racism. You know, we've all got a, a skin colour, we've all got a nationality. Most of us have got a religion and we have got a culture. So it can happen to anybody. It's not just about, obviously, skin colour. It's not just about black people. It can happen to anybody. It can be, it can be white and suffer from racism as well.